At the corner of Francis and Washington Streets in South Bend, Indiana, you will find Sunnyside Presbyterian Church. Sunnyside is an active and growing congregation of the Presbyterian Church USA. The church has been located on the east side of the St. Joseph River in South Bend for over 130 years and has stood at its current location since 1923. After a generous donation of land from J.M. Studebaker, the church expressed its gratitude by changing its name from Trinity Presbyterian Church to Sunnyside in recognition of the nearby Studebaker estate. Sunnyside has lived up to its name as a community of hospitality and joy where multiple generations of men, women, and children share a belief that God's people should come together for worship, then go their individual ways to put the gospel into practice. The congregation has continued to grow over the past century, which has brought with it several renovations and additions, the last of which was completed in 2005. The centrally located gathering place has become the center of congregational life. It is a vibrant place for fellowship, celebrations, and worship. I think to be a part of Sunnyside Church is uh, you get to be involved fairly quickly. Um, I get to lead an adult education enrichment program. My kids are completely involved in the children's programs, which is fantastic. It's, it's very, it's a really welcoming, smaller environment where my kids feel like it's home. It's a very Christian-based church, and it's a church where people, I think, the congregation really try to live the Christian lives, and we're guided through our Sunday worship, through our Bible study, through the music. It's so supportive of its members in a caring church and a reaching out into the community, not introspective, not intergrown. Um, it's a fabulous place. It's the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him, all things in Sunnyside's worship life centers around our reformed worship traditions, but is enhanced by other creative moments of worship throughout the year including weekly Taze worship during the season of Lent, and performances from Sunnyside's growing music program, which includes choirs for children and adults, an accomplished bell choir, as well as a variety of small ensemble groups. Well, I think Sunnyside Church is a uniquely um, balanced and, and interesting congregation because of the variety of generations and the variety of background experiences and the variety of kinds of people that come from all over St. Joe County and some from Elkhart County and some from even Michigan. And the other thing I think is a, a real a sense of being a traditional church which has a, a willingness to be creative in programming. Just love the church, love the traditional service, the feel, the, um, you know, everyone was extremely welcoming. We just felt like it was a good place to come and it was what we were looking for in the church and good children's program and, uh, you know, just felt very welcome and, and enjoyed everything about the place. We are really blessed at Sunnyside to have a very active uh, a congregation who loves music and they're very active in supporting the music program. We have a wide variety of different types and styles of music, everything from traditional to the blended type of contemporary music that you uh, hear in some churches today where it's very contemporary, top 40 on the radio, or it's uh, Mozart and Beethoven and Bach. I read music and I like music and I'm learning new skills that I never had before. And then of course with our, our great <laughs> music choir director, Yvonne, she really makes us want to sing. Padre Alvarez said, I'm here to ask you about the blanket with the cover that covers the figure of baby Jesus in the Christmas procession. Throughout its long history, Sunnyside has always made it a priority to educate children, youth, and adults in living a life of faith. Through the Bible Journeys workshop rotation, which is a multi-intelligence-based curriculum for children, we are able to teach the Bible and the life of faith in creative and interesting ways. Sunnyside also hosts special events for children and families, including children's concerts, author and illustrator events, and local storytellers. We do a workshop-based rotation, which is kind of um, based off like a VBS uh, curriculum. 
um, where the children will uh, attend a different uh, segment or um, rotation per Sunday. And usually those rotations are four weeks. Say, I'll do an example like Daniel, where they'll do a cinema and storytelling, art, and a cooking rotation to complete that Daniel segment. It is multi-intelligence based. Um, so the children are able to, if, um, if need be, um, if, if they miss a particular Sunday, they can kind of catch up the, the next Sunday um, with a mini review. When they get to have Bible journeys, they, can, they um, can learn about Jesus and the people in the Bible in their own way. And, and then when they get older, and then when they get older, they can learn it how the grown-ups learn it. Sunnyside's youth ministry strives to teach young men and women how to live the Christian life, not just inside the church, but in the real world as well. Through fellowship, service, annual mission trips, and leadership within the church, youth form strong bonds with each other while growing into young adults. The youth group goes on a mission trip or a uh, youth retreat every summer. So, and our, our focus is um, on mission trips are helping those who are less fortunate than us and really reaching out to the communities we go to do mission. And when we go on a youth retreat, we will, uh, it varies on what we're focusing on, but um, we're, we're trying to grow spiritually, most of all. In class, we, uh, we try to tie in religion with everyday life and bridge the gaps. And uh, it, really, it really helps in everyday life, and it, and it makes religion and God stand out more to you when you go through class. And then you realize, oh, that's where we, we find God in our everyday lives. Sunnyside is deeply invested in service to the local community and in support of people in need around the world. Our active food pantry serves at least 50 families each week. In the summer of 2010, Sunnyside took on its biggest outreach project to date as a single congregation, raising the funds for and building a home through the local Habitat for Humanity. Sunnysiders of all ages came together in giving and in labor to support a local family. Outreach is kind of a cornerstone of who we are as a congregation and, and that we work and live outside of the walls of the church. And uh, we've always had a, a vital and significant mission uh, uh, focus in our congregation. You know, this past summer we built an entire Habitat house on our own. Uh, not only the financial cost of it, but the bulk of the labor uh, to, to build that house. And it really drew the congregation together uh, uh, in that common cause. We have a food pantry that the congregation largely supports through its donations. It's open twice a week, feeds um, 25 or 30 families, upwards of 100 people each week. I believe that we have about $60,000 a year in mission giving that goes out from this congregation to support uh, local and global uh, agencies and, and mission causes. I believe Sunnyside um, does a lot of mission work and outreach that is kept kind of quiet, which is beautiful to me. I think that it's neat that that Sunnyside takes their mission and their social ministries is what they call it. They take it very seriously and they um, pour a lot of themselves, their spirits, their finances, their time into this outreach attitude. And I think that that's something that's somewhat hidden with Sunnyside. Um, the other thing I think people should know about Sunnyside is that it's very uh, welcoming and there are a lot of uh, people who are just excited to see you walk through the door. We just uh, want to say that this is an open and welcoming congregation and we would invite you know, anybody who sees this video or visits our website to, to come and see, come and try us out, come and, and test the waters and, and see uh, if this would be a comfortable place. And we would love to, to have you. Thank you.